back to the channel. Today I want to do a request from a subscriber on how we can start using real-time stock market data in our Python scripts. Let's jump right in. Jumping over to a text editor, the first thing we need to do is to install a new package. I'm on a Mac, so I'll use a terminal, and I'll type in pip3, install, and then the package is called alpha vantage. Then we'll hit return to install the package. I already have this package installed, and that's why I get this message, but yours should download. We'll use this package as an easy way to access real-time stock market data. Next, we'll need to jump over to their website. I just Google it and go to the first link. And now we need to go to get your free API key. We'll put in our information here. Once you put in your information and click get free API key, they return an API key to you. Go ahead and copy this value and we'll move it over to our Python script. So we'll say API key is equal to that value. Once you're watching this video, I probably have already deleted this API key but it's a very straightforward process to get your own. Next, we'll import all the packages that we need. So let's import pandas as pd, and then from alpha vantage dot time series, we'll import the class time series. Lastly, we'll import time. Next, we'll drop down below our API key and say time series is equal to time series, parentheses, set our keyword argument of key equal to this variable right here, API key. Next, we'll specify our output format. So we'll put output format, and then we want it as a pandas data frame. So we'll pass in pandas here. Let's set the variables data and then metadata. And we'll set this equal to time series dot get intraday. We see that we have a lot of different values here that we can pull out. So daily, weekly, and monthly. But since we want minute by minute data, let's use intraday. We'll set the symbol. So symbol equals, and then we'll pass in a ticker. So let's say we're looking at Microsoft stock, comma, and then we'll specify the interval. So interval equals one minute. And then we want our output size equal to full. Let's drop down and put print data to make sure it works. Go back to your command prompt or terminal and type in Python 3 and then the name of your file. So mine is stocks.py. Hit execute. When we get the result, we see we have minute by minute data of the stock that we specified. We'll scroll up and we see that we have the data for the open, the high, low, close, and volume for the stock in each minute. Now that we're able to pull out the data, we're able to do operations on it. But first, let's talk about how we can save this data in real time, like how our commenter wanted. So we'll drop down, and since this is already in a pandas data frame, we can use the function to excel. So let's say i is equal to one, and usually I wouldn't create an infinite while loop, but since our subscriber wants this to happen all the time, let's do that. So while i is equal to one, we'll do this function. Like I said, we already have a pandas data frame, so we can just use the function to excel. We'll pass in the data frame and then to Excel. We'll specify the output file path. So let's say output.xlsx. And then let's use the time function so we're not running this constant. We'll say time sleep and then pass in the number of seconds that we want to wait. So since our interval is one minute, let's say 60 seconds. We'll also need to include the function get intraday inside our while loop. So we'll copy this line of code here and move it into our while loop. Now, when we save and execute this, every minute we should be returned all the stock information into that Excel file. Opening up the Excel file, we see we have it here. But now let's talk about the data analysis. So we'll hit Control C to enter while loop. I'll go ahead and comment this out, that way it doesn't interfere with the rest of the script. Now, if we're wanting to pull real-time data down to the minute, it's likely that we're day trading. Day traders make all their money using the volatility of stocks. So let's look at how we can find the volatility of stock in a given minute. The first thing we need is the closing data of the stock in each minute. So we'll say close data, and then we'll pull out the data frame, data frame, and type in the column 4.close. This is just pulling out all the closing information from our pandas data frame. Next, we'll need the percent change in between each minute. So let's say percent change is equal to close data, and then we'll use a function already built into the pandas package, so percent change. Now we can print percent change and see what we get. When we execute, we see that we get the percent change of the closing values in real time. Now, if we're looking for volatile stocks in the last minute, we don't really care about everything else in this series. We only care about this last value. So to get the last change, we'll specify a new variable called last change, and then we'll say percent change, and then we'll index it negative one. This is just pulling out the last value in this series, which is this value right here. Now we need to create a tolerance for something to happen. So let's say if the absolute value of the last change is above a certain percentage, we need to do some kind of action. So let's say if the absolute value is above 0.4 of a percent, then we'll create some kind of action. Now right here, we could do a lot of things to alert us to this volatility happening in the last minute. For example, we could create a WhatsApp notification or an email, but for this video, let's keep it simple and just return a statement. So print, and then we'll say Microsoft 
alert because we may be looking at a lot of different stocks and then we'll concatenate the string with the last change value. This way, if you're looking at a lot of different stocks in real time, you know which stock is alerting you and what the volatility is. We'll save this file and execute. We see that we didn't get the alert because the stock is relatively stable. I just want this script to be a brief tutorial on how we can start using real-time data in our Python scripts and not necessarily the complete package. So feel free to use the script as a baseline and change it however you see necessary for the values that you want. Please note that I'm not a financial advisor and I don't encourage day trading unless you really know what you're doing. The idea behind this Python script is just a way that we can better research stocks before we purchase them. If you're looking to get involved in the stock market, Robinhood has a great free app that you can use to trade commission free. If you're interested in getting involved in the stock market, feel free to download it from the description below. If you use my promotional link below, you and I can both get a free stock up to $200. If you want more content about how we can use Python to analyze the stock market, please let me know. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please let me know that too. Until next time.